Hello guys and girls, my name is Martin, this is a completely new YouTube channel, my first that I've ever created. Um, to make a long story short, we're gonna play Dark Souls, the remastered version, and I've created a bandit just because. Uh, the plan is to make a strength build, maybe with a little bit of magic to get great magic weapon as a buff. Uh, I've taken the master key as a gift because uh, the master plan <laughs> will be to start playing Elden Ring as soon as it uh, is released, which is in a few days. And until that time, I want to get through Dark Souls 1. So let's jump right into it. Accept. Here we go. Time for the intro. In the age of ancient. The world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. the first of the day. The witch of Isolin and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes. The dark side brands the undead. And 
and in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. They are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. So here we are. Um, first off, this is not my first playthrough, not at all. I started playing the Souls series uh, starting with Demon Souls on the PS3. Um, I played Dark Souls 1 on the PS3 also. Um, when it came out on PC, I played the Prepare to Die edition, played the hell out of it, um, and now the remastered version because I have some friends that were not able to buy Dark Souls Prepare to Die and since you cannot buy it anymore at least not for a uh, for a normal price um, I bought a remaster to, to play with them and since I don't know one week, two weeks there is some cheat whatever where online play is not possible until Elden Ring is released, so yeah, this will be an offline playthrough. What I want to do is go through the game as fast as possible. I will skip dialogue, so be warned, this will not be in any shape, way or form. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? A lore video, I will not discuss the lore. I might drop some comments here and then, but this is just a playthrough chilled, laid back, um, like I said, as fast as I can, not really going for a speedrun, because I'm not much of a speedrunner, I'm just your casual guy enjoying the Souls series, so yeah, let's go, take our shield, you good sir, you better run, because I'm coming for you, damn, missed him, okay. Battle Axe, our first weapon, will not be the weapon we're gonna use throughout the game. We might change a lot, fuck off, and die. Okay. Oscar, I'm sorry. But talking to you takes too long. <laughs> Even though I'm not a speedrunner, like I said. Still. Okay, we're gonna open this door just in case. He always hits me. Always. I never th think about that he is faster than me when I run up here. So yeah, I guess so far for the no-hit run, which I never planned to do. Deep respect for guys who who are doing no-hit runs. Couldn't do it for the life of me. So, do dodge you, miss you, backstab you. This is gonna be fun. I'm a bit rusty because it's been almost a year. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, I'm really rusty. Um, it's been almost a year since I last played Dark Souls 1. 
I did a little bit of testing just uh, to check if the sound is all right. If recording goes well. But else, if this is the very first time after a year. So smash your face in. So much for the tutorial boss, but we're gonna come back one day sooner or later. So also, I'm not planning to go the normal way, meaning uh, arriving at Firelink, going to the Undeckberg, you know, the usual way players would go. Okay, epic intro incoming. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. Welcome to Firelink Shrine, I guess. So, let me level up. We're gonna go for a little bit of dex, the rest we put into strength. Okay, on. So, first off, that's what I always do when I'm playing Dark Souls. I'm gonna snatch myself the Firelink. Uh, the Firekeeper's soul in New London Ruins. Oh, and if you didn't realize yet, this playthrough will have major spoilers, because I can't keep my, sh my mouth shut. Um, and because I'm not going the usual way new players would take, uh, so be warned. In any case, if you did not play any of the Souls titles yet, and you plan to start with Dark Souls 1, don't watch any videos, not even talking just about my videos, um, don't watch any videos, just play the game if it's your first time, because this first time playing experience um, is one of a kind. You will never experience anything like it. And if you spoil yourself by watching playthroughs and stuff, uh, you will miss out on a lot of, of tension and, and surprises, so don't do it. I didn't do it since Demon Souls, so it's best to go in completely blind. Which I can't, and I envy everybody uh, who's able to start this completely blind, because it's a fucking fantastic game. FromSoft did such a good job here. Even if there are quirks sometimes and you will hear me curse and shout quite often but nothing is perfect so yeah we got the firekeeper soul I hope I don't forget to exchange it with the firekeeper for those of you who don't know some of you might not have played this game and still stick with me which is also okay your decision um, with Firekeeper Souls, you can enhance your Astus Flasks, which are your healing potions. So this one will turn from Astus Flask to Astus Flask plus one, meaning if I drink, I'll get more HP back. So yeah, this was the first step. I always do this since my second or third playthrough. 
when I figured out where to go. Catch some humanity. Catch some fire bombs. And then we'll visit some skeleton guys because I want to have the Zweihander, two handed sword. You can make pancakes with it, which is funny. Okay. No, wait. Don't go the normal way. Stupid. Take the elevator shaft. Oh, yeah. I forgot about you. Yeah. Like I said, I will skip through the dialogue. There is more than enough videos going for lore and dialogues and the characters. Yeah. Give me the useless copper coin. Yes, it pleased me greatly. Yay. So this is the first Covenant trainer. Um, Way of the White is a PvE Covenant. Is it? I think so. Yeah. We learn a gesture and that's pretty much the business we have with you. No, I will not come again. I don't think so. Oh, maybe to kill you. One day sooner or later. Okay, we drop down some dark elevator shaft. And grab some goodies. Not sure if I should explain mechanics and stuff, but I think I'll do it anyway, even if I bore long-time players and, and veterans like me. But maybe there is new players who are not familiar. So um, the things we picked up were the homebot bone is an item where you can teleport back to the last bonfire where you rested. The cracked red eye orb is an item where you can invade other players' worlds as a red phantom. This is if you play online, if you play offline, you can't do it. Uh, this is the PvP of Dark Souls. And. Take my shield, what else did we find? This is the cracked red eye orb, yeah. Um, fire bombs are like. Like the name says, fire bombs, you can throw them like grenades, they explode. Lloyd's Talisman. If you play PvP and you get invaded or you are an invader, if you hit your enemy with this, you can throw it like a grenade also, just like the firebomb. Um, the enemy won't be able to heal. I'm not sure because I recently played Dark Souls 3. In Dark Souls 3, if you hit somebody they cannot heal at all. I think here it's just reduced, but I'm not sure. I'm not much of a PvPer, I admit. Uh, Transient Curse is what we collected from this big vase down in New London Ruins. Um, in the New London Ruins, the main enemy enemies are ghosts, and you cannot hit them, and you cannot block them without being cursed. Being cursed is a pain in the ass, because your HP will be chopped in half, um, and the transient curse has the same effect concerning the ghosts. So you, if you use this item, you can hit them, but you will not lose half of your exp uh, uh, HP. So transient curse is the way to go for me. Homeward bone, like I said, teleport back to the last bonfire. Souls you can eat. Souls, all in all, is uh, kind of the currency of this game. You can buy spells, uh, weapons, you can trade with merchants. And these are the items you can eat. Humanity is pretty important. We'll talk about this later. The copper coin is pretty much garbage. You can exchange it with an NPC for some souls, but nothing to really talk about. Okay, let's do some, I think, suicide run for two weapons and an item. Here's the winged spear. Nice if you want to go for a dex build and want to be a turtle using a shield and spear. So the Zweihander is the, the sword we want to go for first. Binoculars are exactly what they sound like. You can use them to zoom into further away details. It did not even die, not yet at least, not yet. No, don't do it. 
So let's see, I can go around here. Right. And get an item, yeah. So item, nice. No! Why? Okay. Another death on my record. Nice. I actually never dropped on this cliff. That's a first. Okay, whatever. We got what we needed. Um, the Zweihander is heavy and needs quite some strength. We need 24 strength. Um, and we are at 16 at the moment. You can two-hand wield it. Um, you need, I think, 75% of the requirements. So we're not having it yet. Okay, we'll stay with the battle axe. We might... We might... I think the first merchant in the Undead Burg sells it. We might go for a club. Yeah, whatever. Okay, if you present your back, don't blame me for backstabbing you. Uh, always. I need to get the timing down again. Come on. Yeah, like this. So you see, this is an item. We will not catch it because somebody is throwing firebombs at us. And the item on this little bridge aqueduct thing is a ring. We'll get it later. No worries. Okay. Whoa, what? Okay, stop, please. Let's have a drink. Okay. I'm really rusty. Uh, parry and reposting on stairs is actually not a very good idea because the game has a problem when it comes to height distances. Uh, it won't regi re register your uh, repost. And I got poisoned. That's fantastic. Okay, stop it. You make me look like a f like the fool I am. Okay, no. Die. God damn. And you don't even have a humanity for me. So, rats drop humanities. They do. I will not run back because I'm courageous and this is manageable, I think. If I don't play like shit anymore, that would be nice. Come on. Mm -hmm. Okay, another battle axe. Not bad. You and your friends need to die. Thanks to the poison, I'm in a bit of a rush to reach the next bonfire because there are some items you can get if you break through some barrels. There is dragon in assault, dragons in a souls game? What? On a bridge? Shut up and die. So yeah, um, down there you see the first merchant. We're gonna visit him, but first I think... Really? Don't do it. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Maybe I should have trained a bit before starting to record videos. Maybe that would have been a good idea. Whatever. Where is the fun in playing Dark Souls without dying? Damn. Did they change this in the remastered version? That he turns around every time he jumps down from his cliff? Really? Wow, that was close. Okay. Firebomb guy is serious.
and for the newer players, do not ever... Yeah, we just talked about reposts and stairs. Do not ever underestimate any enemy. <sighs> Again? Shut up. You stupid red. Okay. Uh, for your information, um, English obviously is not my first language. I'm not a native speaker. I'm from Germany, Bavaria. I'll do my best so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Forgive me if it's not a perfect British or American English. Like I said, I'll do my best. Don't sleep at your job. Peppies left and right. Okay, maybe I start getting the hang of this game again. What? Okay. Let's try this again without dying, hopefully. Um, yeah, would the real Slim Shady please come down? Okay. Also, for new players, a good tactic uh, is to play not like me. Oh, God. You're still alive. Are you Chuck Norris? What's your problem? Okay, so this was quite Estes intensive. You. Shut up and die. Okay, oh, bonfire. EPIA. I'm starting to get sweaty hands. This is Dark Souls. We can. We could level up, but we won't. Because we have plans. We have plans I almost forgot. Because, believe it or not, I was thinking about how and what I would want to do here with this plate. Which ways I would like to go. What boss I would like to kill first, or in which order I want to go through the bosses. Ah, uh, yeah, so... Get rid of you guys. I wanted to kick, but... Okay, works this way too. So a good trick is to kick these guys. This way they lose their shields. Wait, there is somebody here. And then heavy attack them and they're down. No matter what weapon you use in the beginning, they will be one hit kills. I think, I hope. Now watch somebody come with a normal dagger and say I'm not telling the truth. Okay, oh, merchant. <laughs> He's one of my favorite characters just for this laughing. Okay, we need, we need a bow. We need a bow. Do we really need a bow? I could, or could I? I could, but it's dangerous. Nah. We need a bow. We will not buy arrows. We will buy the residence key. And we will buy fire bombs. And that's not enough, I think. <laughs> But we have one or two souls, which we can use. We have six souls, okay. Use these. That should be easily enough for the firebombs we need. What I want to do is, you might, veterans might already get the idea. I want to show with bosses where it's possible how to cheese them. Um, I want to show some tips and tricks 
how you can make the game a little bit easier for you without cheating, without using exploits, whatever. Um, so yeah, 34 firebombs, more than enough. We'll get some throwing knives just for the oh, sake of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so what we want to do now, just to be safe, because I know in one of my earlier playthroughs, more than a year ago, I fucked this up pretty well. And I've already embarrassed myself quite enough for the starting video, I think. So we gonna kindle this. Don't scream at me. Can we? Yes, we can. Um, using two. We need one humanity to get back to human form. And with the other uh, humanity we can kindle the bonfire so that we get not only five Estus, but ten Estus. And I need all the help I can get. So yeah, let's do this. And we look slightly better. Kindle, yes. So bonfires with no uh, fire keepers around in vanilla will have uh, you can you can um, recharge when you rested them you can recharge five Estus flasks bonfires with fire keepers uh, around them will recharge your Estus up to ten and then there is a certain boss in the game after you kill him you can kindle bonfires up to twenty Estus so. That's a good thing. And now let's be on our merry way. Nope. And double up. You could drop your skirt for me, good sir. That would be really nice. Not you. The other one dropped something. A short sword. Great. That's what I want. Okay, so once again. We go this way. And then there is the first major shortcut I cannot kick for the life of me. Why? <laughs> what the hell? Let me kick. Seriously. Now I can kick. Now when there is no enemy here. I'm faster than you. We will use these souls again to buy... What can we get? Nothing of importance. Oh yeah. He has the reinforced club. We're gonna get this. It's a good weapon. It's a very good weapon. No souls will go to waste. As long as we can avoid it. Okay. So, going for the first shortcut and keep your fingers crossed that I don't fuck up too much. Are you guys in a rush? Obviously, you are. Okay, next. Come on. This attack, what he wanted to do if I didn't block it, when they go in a flurry... <laughs> is very dangerous. There is the same guys uh, wielding torches and they can and they will kill you if they... Broken sword? Yay. If you get into their hits and if they can land the whole combo uh, in the starting phase, you're dead. You're simply dead. So that's why I say do not ever underestimate any kind of enemy in this game. Okay, so the trick we want to do is jump on this little balcony above my head and from there jump down to the lowest street level. So let's see if I can do this. Nope. I wanted to roll. Something is with this controller. I don't know. It's a new one. Am I recording? I am recording. Now it worked. Okay, so first stop, top of your health, because the next jump will 
damage you quite much. So run, jump, and that's okay. Now we have to dodge some doggies. So first one. There's thieves incoming. Let's kite them here, you fucker. Don't bite me. You go here, you block, and you turn around. And the stupid AI, with a little luck, will burn themselves. And we'll have a nice barbecue. Okay, there's still a thief. Come on. Yeah, burn you, motherfucker. And somebody drops. Oh, thief's armor. Okay, that's nice. Just for the looks. Does not have any crucial stats we need, but it's still nice to have. Did we buy the residence key? We did. So we can free this guy. Somebody. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm skipping through the dialogues. So there is a mage locked in this room. We can free him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. And he will move to Filing Shrine. And if you have at least 10 intelligence, he will sell you spells, magic spells. There's a corpse here, and you can grab some mage armor and the Sorcerer Catalyst. If you did not take the mage class, you need this if you want to cast spells. Um, there is a soul, I no, a humanity item back there. We'll grab it later. First, I want to make sure that I open all the shortcuts. First one is here. So the next room, which we will not enter, but the room behind this door is a room you would go to if you followed the normal route, the usual route, towards the first boss. Okay, we open the shortcuts so we can quite easily return to the bonfire in Undeadburg. So these doors, there is three of them. Usually you would come from up there if you played normally, the normal way. Um, these doors will fly open as soon as you reach, I think, the second door. So if you have a big weapon, you can kill the first thief. Behind every of these doors is one thief. Uh, you can clip if you have a big weapon through the door and kill the first thief. I don't think you can do the same with the second one, but I'm not sure. It's always worth a try. Mailbreaker is, in my opinion, not a very good weapon. It might be okay in PvP to surprise your enemies because it has kind of a weird moveset, but don't use it. <laughs> okay. And we have a repeat performance. You see there is a dog. And it's not only one, it's two dogs. And again, we have three doors with three thieves. And this dog is really in a haste. The fuck? Okay. So we kite them back to the fire and give them also the barbecue performance. This dog. You need to take it slow here because the, the thieves might turn around. You see the, the dog is already backing up. Again, stand around here and wait for them to start the barbecue. Nice, one down. The other one is not cooperative. I see a dog coming. Okay. And what's the other thief doing? I can't see through the flames, but I think he's running. Yeah, he's coming again. Come on. For those who are hot and those who are not. And I think we got them all. Maybe one dog still missing. Yeah, this is quite a massacre. These thieves um, have a stance where they uh, raise their dagger in front of them. Something like this. Uh, whenever they go into that stance, be careful not to attack them because they can parry you and uh, 
return a critical hit. <laughs> a critical hit. Um, they will cut your throat, and it inflicts quite a da quite some damage. So you want to avoid this. So the last dog is history. There is a leather armor set, which is nice, and a target shield, which is a really good shield if you are going to parry a lot. It's one of the best shields to parry. There's the buckler shield, the target shield, and then there is this dagger, the parrying dagger, uh, which is also a parry weapon. Um, yeah, this is the fork to the second boss if you go the normal route. Route or route? Let me know in the comments. In case anyone is watching this. Yeah, nice ambush. Okay. The armor set of these thieves is really rare, so we already got the pants. Um, and the chest, uh oh, and the chest armor. Ah, would have been nice if we got the bandit knife, which is a hell of a bleeding weapon. Even if it's more a dex weapon than a strength weapon. Okay, so this is all clear. This door is locked. We need to kill the Capra demon in order to get the key for this door. So yeah, there is an archer, which is none of our business. We can let him live. This is a nice merchant. She sells uh, curing items for bleeding, for poison and for toxic. It's the blood, poison and toxic moss, or purple and blooming moss, I think. And this is a nice shortcut to go back to Firelink, which... We will not do. <laughs> Let's go back to the Capra and kick his ass. Yeah, okay. So the most important thing thing if you if you wanna do this is to open these shortcuts in case anything goes wrong. Um so you don't have to go through all of this once again. Shortcuts are essential in this game. And the map design is fantastic. It's great, you will see. Okay, so we need the bow. Um, we need the bow, yes. And we need the fire bombs. So like I said, the boss is waiting behind this fog, but it's not the boss alone. The boss is a kind of a two times the size of me goat demon on two legs with two really big machetes. The problem with this boss is not the boss himself. Uh, the problem is his two companion dogs. They can stagger you and when you are staggered, the boss can hit you and that does a lot of ouch. So, I can kill the boss in the normal way. I might do another playthrough and, and do all the things the normal way, but this time we're gonna cheese him. So you see this wall with these little nubbles, whatever they're called. You go for one, two, three, four, five. Hold, shatter hand. Go out of the zoom and then throw your fire bombs. One two, and maybe a third one. I'm never sure if the third one also hits. Yeah, it does. And this health bar you see is the health bar of the boss. So again, one, two, three, four, five. Exit zoom, toss some bombs, rinse and repeat. We hit a dog, which is nice, one less. One, two, three, four, five. Once again, tossing bombs.
And again, one, two, three, four, five out of the zoom. Fire in the hole. And it was not enough yet. Okay, because one of the bombs hit one of the dogs. Okay, whatever. Three, four, five. Let's toss two of them. That should be more than enough. Okay. Be careful, the dogs don't die. Except when you hit them with the bombs. Um, so they will attack as soon as the fog is gone. But... Okay. Okay, so... This is the arena. The boss is around here when you enter it. One dog is around here. And the other dog is more in the back. Yeah, you see his corpse there. And as soon as you enter, they will all charge you. So the trick is to kind of dodge them, run up the stairs, go back on the stairs, kill the dogs because they will be the first to reach you up here. The boss is pretty slow. Um, try to kill the dogs. If you did not manage to kill the dogs, um, stay back and block. The boss will try to hit you and when he tries to hit you, he will fall down and will come up the stair again, as will the dog in case one of them or both of them survive. Do this until the dogs are dead and then keep blocking, keep an eye on your stamina, uh, keep yourself healed because depending on what shield you are using with your starter class or if you even have a, even have a shield, uh, the boss might chip away on your he health bar. Um, as soon as the boss is going down, you can take your weapon in, in both hands and just jump attack on him. And it will be pretty easy to kill him. He's not that much uh, of a danger once the dogs are dead. So yeah, this is the tactic you can use if you do not want to encounter him. First players, please try to kill him the normal way um, because it's really, it's really fun and it takes everything away if you cheese the bosses throughout the game. Where's the challenge in that? I'm a coward, so that's why I'm doing it. I'm the coward who has around, I don't know, 2000, maybe a bit more hours in this game. Not in the remastered, but overall PlayStation 3 and PC combined. I think it's about 2000. Which still is not really much, because there is guys like Lobos Jr. Highly recommend his channel. Um, I will put a link to his channel in, in the description. Cool guy. And in my eyes, he's one of the godlike players when it comes to the Soul series. So, really recommend. He's a Twitch streamer, but he has quite some of his whoa, videos uh, on YouTube also. And he split up his channels because usually his videos are like seven to nine hours straight. He just uploads his streams, but now he has uh, channels where he cuts his videos into smaller pa uh, parts, so they are easily more easy to watch. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Okay, so back to Firelink Shrine. I'm not sure what we're gonna do next. This is the guy we just rescued. Not yet interested in him. Not yet. We can level up. We're gonna level up strength a bit more. And maybe endurance to get more stamina. Yeah. Okay, so... Where's the time? We have almost 50 minutes, so I think this will be it for my first episode on YouTube. My very first video, oh my god. I'm quite interested in how this will go. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you liked what you saw. Um, if you did so, I would be very happy if you would keep watching. There's more to come. I think I will have to upload at least one maybe even two episodes per day else it will be very close to the release date of elden ring um yeah 
again, thank you for watching. My name is Martin. Take good care and stay safe. Bye-bye.